Hey everybody, welcome to another Cooking 101 in my tiny, tiny kitchen. Uh, I'm Jen, I'm a dietitian. I started this video program because everybody was stuck in their house during the quarantine and they were all cooking for sometimes the first time in their lives and often, more often than they were used to. And I wanted to give people some tips on uh, what to do for basic quick meals so they weren't feeling so overwhelmed or feeling like they were making the same thing over and over again. Uh, that's kind of evolved and I don't know about where you guys might be but for us in New York City uh, tomorrow starts phase one of reopening so our quarantine is finally ending. We're really excited about it because we're so sick of being inside. Um, well at least I am. I don't know about you guys. But uh, in response and kind of celebration uh, to reopening tomorrow, um, I decided to do something super fun. And I was in the store the other day and I was in the vegan section because I have a bit of a dairy allergy. I try to avoid it. And so I occasionally check out the vegan section to see what's new and what's interesting. And I noticed there's so many kinds of vegan cheese now and they all looked kind of pretty good and I wanted to try them all and I wanted an excuse to try them all. Um, I also went through, if you remember last week, my eyes were attacking themselves basically and I thought that it might have something to do with the fact that I'm allergic to dairy because I get weird skin reactions sometimes from it. So I had stopped dairy altogether and then as soon as I did that, all I wanted to do was eat grilled cheese. And luckily, I happened to be uh, privileged enough to live very close to an awesome vegan restaurant called Blossom and uh, they have a killer grilled cheese that is totally vegan you would never know it by looking at it or tasting it it is perfect in every way um, Blossom has like some voodoo they put into their vegan cheeses that make them totally uh, indistinguishable from other cheeses so that got me thinking uh, there's got to be a vegan cheese out there commercially that is really good and really melty and works really well for grilled cheese because if I can get it at a restaurant I should be able to get it for my home hopefully uh, so what I did was I went to the store and I literally bought every vegan cheese that I could find and then I went to another store and I made sure that I had gotten every single thing and then I went to Whole Foods and I really triple checked to make sure I got everything I could find in my area um, I came up with seven cheeses for this grilled cheese off um, and some guidelines and rules and I'm ranking them and there's all sorts of things going on here so it should be fun I tried to prep everything ahead of time and I totally mismanaged my time and ran out so some of this is gonna be you watching me put mayo on bread I'm sorry um, but other than that oh and some of this is gonna be you watching me eat a lot of grilled cheeses so I hope you're cool with that but it should be fun and at the end of it I'll be able to tell you a lot more about vegan cheese because I've already learned a lot so I had to make some guidelines if this wasn't a, a live program I would totally have little graphics come up and be cute I have no idea how to do that stuff so instead we're going old school I wrote it on paper it might be backwards it's backwards when I look at the camera um, so the guidelines for the grilled cheese off the cheese must be vegan that should be a giveaway, but uh, I screwed that up somehow, and I will get to that in a sec. Um, the cheeses has to be the cheese had to be in slice form only, uh, meaning it comes in those pre-cut slices. I didn't want to use grated cheese. It felt like that's cheating a little bit because grated cheese melts quicker and a little more differently than sliced cheese. It's also not what you put on a grilled cheese traditionally. Um, the cheeses were either cheddar or American flavored. Now, I did end up with one exception. Uh, one of my cheeses is not flavored for any particular cheese. It's like the classic version. It tastes like American, so I figured that counted mostly. Um, and then I score it on three points. I've already done a taste test cold. I've taken cheese out of every single package and eaten it like some sort of weirdo. Um, so I've scored those. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, then we're doing the melt test. Uh, so the thing that gets me about vegan cheeses is, is they melt terribly, the, at least the ones I've tried. Um, and I have favorites that I like to put on sandwiches, but anytime I've tried to make a grilled cheese, it's just been disappointing. So 
I'm trying to find a cheese that melts satisfactorily and, and gives that good classic grilled cheese feeling. Um, so they're going to get a melt test and I'll try to do that sexy pull apart thing to see what happens. Um, and then they're going to get a cooked taste test. So if they happen to taste weird while they were raw or in their cold form, maybe they taste better melted. Maybe they taste better hot. I don't know. Maybe they taste worse. Maybe they get a weird aftertaste. So we'll figure that out too. And that's going to be scored. Uh, we scored zero to five. Here are all my cheeses. So let's start with follow your heart. So I was actually surprised to find because it's been a while since I looked at ingredients in vegan cheeses. They don't really make them out of soy anymore, which is really cool. Uh, most of them are actually made from coconut oil with potato starch. That was the most common combination, or it was potato starch and tapioca starch and coconut oil. But uh, so starting with follow your heart. Now I've seen this brand a lot in the stores. I thought it was just some like low fat brand. I didn't realize it was vegan. Um, this stuff is actually pretty good. Uh, this scored pretty high. I put a five for the taste test and uh, it really went well. I, I thought it tasted good. The texture is pretty close to uh, actual American cheese. And if we're being honest, American cheese doesn't have the best texture ever. It's a little weird, but uh, it, it's, there, it's that comforting childhood texture that you like. So that's what I was looking for in a good texture for my grilled cheese off. So Follow Your Heart comes really, really close. It comes in American cheese flavor. Um, and it's flavored with food. They use things like uh, turmeric for color and things like that. So not terribly, terribly weird. Uh, the next one I tried, because it came well recommended, is called Chow. So Chow is one of the few different ones. It is soy containing, but in, not in the way that like Tofuti used to contain soy or does, uh, Tofuti still exists, but that was like the first soy cheese I ever met. Um, but uh, Chow uses fermented soybeans, but they also use coconut oil and potato starch and tapioca starch. So I don't know why they included fermented soybeans. Flavor-wise, it doesn't change it. Texture-wise, it it's pretty similar to Follow Your Heart. Like I thought these two were really, really similar in texture. And then Chow was just a little milder in flavor. And uh, I don't know, yeah, it, it, they, they base it on fermented tofu in their recipe and they're really proud of that. I don't know what it brings to the table, but it's not bad. It got a, it got a four on my taste test. So it's still good stuff. Um, for a lot of these cheeses, it's going to come down to preference. And some people love certain cheeses that I'm going to go over. Some people are going to be like, what? You're crazy. Why would you use that? So that's okay. This, a lot of this is subjective. So you're going to be stuck kind of listening to what I like, but uh, I hope this is a little helpful to tell you how to sort out some of this stuff at the store. So next up was my personal favorite for cheeses in general, Daya. Daya failed this horribly. I don't know what happened. So I got the Daya American Slices, which is new. New. Um, I love Daya for their provolone. I get it all the time. I put it on sandwiches. It tastes like provolone cold to me. I know that Daya has always had a problem with melting cheeses. I don't know what's up with their stuff. It liquefies instead of melts and it's unpleasant to me and it has a weird texture aftertaste thing going on when it's cold, when, it, when it's hot. When it's cold, I'm totally cool with it and it's nice and firm. American style Daya, something's going on with their recipe because it did not work out. Now Daya is another one that is uh, starch and coconut oil. Um, they also add pea protein to their cheese, and I've always thought that worked. The, the American is dry and crumbly. Uh, the flavor, not very strong. Um, you could say it's American cheese-ish, but it tastes pretty similar to some of their other cheeses. So I was really let down, because Daya is like my jam, but uh, not today, not their American style. So I followed Daya up with Esty plant-based cheddar. Uh, this was awful. <laughs> this was the worst cheese I tried. It had the same dry crumbly issue that Daya did, but way worse than Daya. And the flavor was not good. It was just overall 
so disappointing, so bad, not a fan, uh, don't recommend. Um, I looked up after I did all my shopping to see what cheeses are doing well in selling for vegans and what people prefer for grilled cheese. SD was not on any list. It was the only cheese that was not on any list. So, uh, SD, if you're listening, you gotta do a little better. This is not, this is not good. Mm -mm. Uh, next on my list, Life. So, I was so happy to get Vio Life in my mouth after the SD cheese because it was so bad. So it might have gotten a bit of a bias in its in its rating. There's the Vio Life cheddar cheese. Uh, again, coconut oil, starches, um, more of a American cheese flavor. Even though these are cheddar slices, a lot of the stuff that says it's cheddar came off as American in my mouth. It's just the way it tasted. It's hard to get flavor when you're not actually making a cheddar cheese. Um, so I give them a little bit of slack. It was softer, pliable, flexible. I liked it. So it was it was a relief after those two terrible cheeses I ate. Um, after that, this is a highly recommended one, Miyoko's. So Miyoko's is made by a Greek company and they pride themselves on making vegan cultured cheeses. Um, you can get a lot of block cheeses. I think they also make cream cheese as well. Uh, a lot of these brands come in different types, so you can get shredded from most of these brands. Some of them make cream cheeses as well. Um, Miyoko's is more of a block and cream cheese, but I was lucky to find that they also had these slices. Uh, they also use coconut oil and starches, but they then add, uh, cultured oat milk. So they add, they make these cheeses the way that non-vegan cheeses are made, um, which means that they take a milk substitute, oat milk, and they add a culture to it um, that's plant-based. So regular cheeses are made with enzymes that are found, they can either be found from plants, but the enzymes sometimes come from like the stomach of a goat, um, which sounds gross. So, and is definitely not vegan. So um, this is, basically the plant version of doing that. And so by making the cheese more in a traditional cheese way, they're hoping to get a more traditional cheese texture and flavor. Um, I like this a lot. Actually, I woke up this morning and needed something to eat and I pulled a slice out of this bag because I was like craving it. Um, there's some weird stuff about it. So it's got the right cheese texture, a little dry, um, not terribly. And it kind of reminds me of like a dry cheddar for that reason. And it's cheddar so it's following the right pattern for texture uh there's a sweet aftertaste so in addition to the oat milk and oat milk can be kind of sweet um it's got like navy beans in it and garbanzo beans there's a lot of proteins going on um i don't know where that sweet aftertaste is coming from it's not cheese like it's a little weird um and if you're used to certain things in cheese you might not like this but Texture-wise, flavor-wise, it, it was all right. So I gave it a four. And then the last one I did was Whole Foods brand, 365. Again, cheddar flavored. Um, I also gave this one a four. Uh, it is, it's supposed to be cheddar, but it definitely tastes like American cheese. Again, a lot of them do. And uh, it's not bad. It, it tasted pretty decent. And uh, I read a blog that said that it was basically the best out of the ones they taste tested. Again, this is all subjective. Um, but uh, it does not taste like cheddar. It tastes like American cheese. So texture wise, it's it's not as dry. It's got more of that. We're getting back to the like the moisture filled, just like American cheeses. Um, and then kind of the bland American cheese, but comforting mouth feel and flavor. So overall, everyone did well, except for SD and Daya. I'm so disappointed in Daya. I can't get over it. Um, now there was one more cheese that I had in my photo to advertise this show and I made a gross miscalculation here. So Go Veggie does make vegan cheese. This is not one of them. If you can see here, it says lactose free. Now, when I picked this stuff up, it was in the vegan section where there's only supposed to be vegan cheeses, which means the grocery store just made the same mistake I did. I don't think they were doing it on purpose. Go Veggie is confusing because they make a vegan line and they make the lactose free line and they make another allergen line. 
all of them look the same, and the company is called Go Veggie, but the cheese is not vegan at all and contains casein and casein comes from milk so it is basically just american cheese where they pull the lactose out like they use lactate milk to make it um i that was actually the first cheese i ate and i was sitting there going oh like this tastes exactly like american cheese like that wow they've come a really long way and i looked at the back and it said contains milk in the tiniest letters possible so that sucks. Um, it is an honest mistake by my grocery store, I'm sure. It was an honest mistake by me. I just pulled everything off the shelf and was like, yeah, this is good. Vegan section, I'm fine. This shit happens to vegans a lot. Um, you got to be really wary when you're being very uh, specific about your diet. This can also happen with allergens. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up that stuff like this happens. Things are placed in the wrong section and they're not labeled well, this is one of the worst labeled things I've ever seen. So, uh, go veggie, you are disqualified from the competition and you need to do better about labeling your packaging, I think, cause that is very vague. Uh, or don't sell milk cheese and name yourself go veggie. That's very confusing. So those are the cheeses. Um, I did not finish prepping everything. I have the first two ready to go. So I'm gonna talk while I prep the rest of this stuff. And I'm gonna try to do it in order. So the way I'm making my grilled cheeses is I've got whole wheat bread, which is vegan. Um, I am putting soy-free veganaise on there. Now, this is not my preferred vegan mayo. Uh, my favorite vegan mayo is just mayo. Uh, that is the bomb. It is made from pea protein. It is awesome. Uh, most veganaise, veganaise is a company that's been around forever. Um, most veganaise is made with soy, so I avoid it. However, I could not find just mayo for like the first time ever in my grocery store. And I didn't feel like going all over God's green earth trying to find it, but I did find this stuff and it is soy free. So veganaise is kind of branching out a little bit and they make their stuff with pea protein as well. Um, I have not taste tested it yet, but I figured I'd give them a shot. So to do this, I am cutting this bread in half um, so that we're getting a grilled cheese sandwich that size. Uh, and then I'm using about one, one piece cut or folded in half. And that should be, everything's about the same thickness. Uh, I'm doing this in grand traditional grilled cheese fashion where I'm putting the mayo on the outside of the bread. Uh, this is just a way to get some really thick fatty substance to make everything brown well in the pan. Uh, everything is going to be grilled together on a non-stick uh, cast iron pan and I'm gonna give everything opportunity for the cheese to melt so it might not all come off at the same time but I'll try to time it so that everything goes in. And then I'll try to do a little, uh, there's a special way you do a cheese pull on a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, you have to kind of slightly cut each side of the bread and uh, hopefully that'll make things do that nice cheese pull. If, if all goes well, we'll find the cheese that melts the best that way. All right, Esty, you, you got one more chance to, to prove me wrong here because I, I have no faith in you. You were definitely lagging at the bottom of the pile here. If you guys are just tuning in, this is my least favorite cheese, Esty. Um, favorite cheeses so far? Uh, Follow Your Heart, I think, is really strong in the running here. Um, Miyoko's was different, but I also kind of liked it. Um, but for, like, traditional, straight up, I want a good American cheese, grilled cheese. I think Follow Your Heart is winning by a lot right now. And we're about halfway done with prepping. Again, I apologize. My time management was not great today. Usually I would have this stuff ready to go for you so you wouldn't have to watch me prep. But now we get to spend more time together. So there's that. All right. So more about veganaise. Uh, you can find it in most grocery stores. And it comes in like... I don't know, I think I saw like at least seven or eight flavors. There's like garlic and sriracha. So if you like a flavored mayo, 
but you are not into eggs, uh, I recommend Veganaise or my favorite, which is just mayo. Um, Veganaise is mostly soy, but you can find the pea protein version, which is my jam. All right, there's Veolife. They're all set up. Uh, let me just say a word about the health of vegan comfort food. So I find this actually is a myth that runs among a lot of vegans themselves that, and, and I would say it's a lot more young people who decide to be vegan, but aren't quite sure what that means exactly. Uh, it's, it's a notion that vegan is healthy and it can absolutely be the healthiest way to eat. Like tons of science behind that. But if you're vegan and all you are eating is pasta and potato chips and vegan grilled cheese sandwiches, uh, that's not healthy. And so I've, from time to time, I've heard vegans, I've heard non-vegans say this, uh, if you are eating something that's vegan, like vegan ice cream, that's not healthier than non-vegan ice cream. Um, there's less fat, obviously, in all of these cheeses. Uh, and the calories per slice are about 60, which is not nothing. 60 calories can be a lot per slice. And then on top of that, you've got bread, which is full of carbs and you have no vegetables. I mean, I, I like a good grilled cheese with tomato. Uh, that's a personal preference. Um, if you're not putting any veggies on here, there's very little fiber. I chose whole grain bread cause that's my jam. Uh, if you're using white bread, then you're getting like almost nothing for your fiber. Uh, so you're getting some high calories with very little health benefit in any of this stuff. So vegan does not automatically mean healthier. It matters what foods you're choosing. And with any diet, whether it's vegan or non-vegan, vegetables are king. You got to eat your vegetables. You can't get away with just eating whatever protein and whatever carb you want. That's not a healthy diet. Um, so the majority of the foods in your diet need to be veggies and fun stuff like this. I'm totally fine with splurging on junk food, but it can't be what you have every single day for the rest of your life. Okay. So all of my sandwiches are prepped and they're in this order. So I know what I'm doing and I don't lose track. Um, let's get cooking. All right. So putting the heat on like medium high doesn't have to be crazy and I'm just gonna go in order I'll let this heat up for a sec always preheat your pan don't just put things in a cold pan it's gonna throw all the cooking off so um, just let it heat up I put mayo on the outside of my sandwich I didn't put any mayo on the inside I am NOT huge on mayo even vegan mayo uh, I, I have a weird thing where natural mayo now just is so gross, but vegan mayo I like, but it only has to be, it can only be a little bit. And if there's mayo residue, ugh, no. Um, I know people who love mayo. I'm just, I'm a weirdo about it. Don't like it at all. Not a big fan. Um, so we're just waiting for the heat to kind of distribute on the pan, make sure everything is even. And then we're gonna start cooking. So let's go. And just follow your heart. Starting out. Then we got the chow. All right. Next is Daya. Daya, this is your chance to redeem yourself. And Esty, I don't trust you. You're terrible. Why would you do this to me? All right. The next one up is Vio Life. Goes. Then we got Miyoko's. And we got 365, which doesn't want to come off. There we go. All right, we're good to go. Everything is starting to sizzle. This is very exciting, everybody. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Small burner, big pan. I want to make sure everything's cooking. I'm just going to get a spatula out to, uh, and then everything's going to fall down. Sparks of a tiny kitchen. Uh, everything is very precariously balanced in my kitchen right now, 
and it barely fits. And I just try my best and usually something explodes. So there you go. We got the explosion of the day today. All right. So now we get to watch it. It smells good. I wish you guys were here. It smells like nice toasty bread right now. And it doesn't take very long, but I want to give everything enough time to cook evenly on both sides. Give the cheese time to uh, melt if it's going to melt. And take out some parchment paper so that I don't ruin my nice wood cutting board. We'll lay it out on that. Okay. Hope you guys are ready to watch me eat grilled cheese because that's what most of this show is, is watching me eat. I apologize for nothing. It's my show and I get to do whatever I want. And today I want to eat grilled cheese because tomorrow we're ending our stage one lockdown, which is really, really exciting. All right. Woo. Don't burn yourself like I did. I'm going to just check the bottom of this if I can. And that seems to be all right. We need tongs here. Otherwise, I'm going to be fumbling a lot. So it seems to be ready to flip. So I just got to grab it, flip it over. Woo! It's definitely ready to flip. OK, so everything, you can turn the heat down a bit. We're overdoing it. All right. That is very brown. Next. Come on. Come on, you jerk. And we're flipping. We're flipping. There we go. All right, it's brown but not burnt. We're fine. The experiment holds. It's just going to be super, super crispy. It's my first time grilling a cheese with vegan mayo, so I'm a little unsure of the heat ratio here, and obviously I overdid it a little, but that's okay. We just won't show that side. Everything will be fine. There we go. That one's less burnt. Good, good, good. Flippy, flippy. There we go. Everything looks great. We're doing great. And honestly, I mean, some of the bread is a little dark, but it's not, it's not unsalvageable. We're in a good place right now, I think. All right, so many grilled cheeses to try. Come on, cheese. Don't let me down. So far, I mean, some of the stuff is melting a little. Nothing looks quite like a melted cheese, but, you know, let's give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Did I go too low? Okay. So we're just, uh, I turn the heat way down now just to give the cheese a chance to melt and really make its way to where I want it to be. All right. Doing a little push test to see if anything is doing something interesting here. All right. Give it another minute and then I think we can pull everything off. Luckily grilled cheese doesn't take very long to cook. Let's see. Doot, doot, doot. All right, something's happening here. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what it'll look like. All right. I think that's ready. All right. None of this wants to come out of the pan. Everything's going to be stubborn today. Okay. So, in order. One... Two, three and four, Woo. five and six, and seven and eight, seven, just seven, not eight, okay. All right, grilled cheese is out of the pan. Let's see how we did with the melt test. I'm trying to, okay, that's not a good knife. Let's get a better knife. Something with teeth. Serrated knife. That's your lesson for the day. That's a serrated knife with the teeth. So I'm going to cut on either side. But I'm not going to cut all the way through the sandwich. Whoop, I cut through the sandwich. And then I dropped the knife. Oh, I 
doing really well. That's kind of melted. Yeah. Okay. Get my knife and wash it off. I'm a little excited about this. Next cheese on the block. Let's just cut one side and see what happens. All right, this is the uh, chow. Come on, chow. Well, I gotta cut the other side. Cut through the sandwich, there we go. Chow is, oh, that's exciting. That is a five on the melt test for chow. All right, let me put these scores in. So chow gets a five. Big Follow Your Heart gets a four. That was, that was kind of melty, even though I cut through the sandwich. All right, next is Daya. Daya, I don't have high hopes for Daya. Daya does n has never done well on a melt test and never done well on a eating test when it's melted. What do we got here? Yeah, it, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> I would say that's, that's, a, that's a week two. Daya's just getting twos across the board. Okay, next is Esty. Let's see what SD the dry cheese does when melted. So yeah, to get that like over exaggerated melt, you have to kind of cut halfway through the sandwich on both sides. And then, eh, I'd say SD gets a two as well. Not really much of a pull there. So Chow is in the lead for the melt test. All right, next up is Vio Life. See what they did. Veal Life. I don't know what Veal Life did because it doesn't look like it melted. All right, let's see what happens. What do we got here? Okay, all right, all right, that's a nice melt. I'm gonna give that a four. So Chow is in the lead. Maybe there's something to that fermented tofu in there. It's giving it some uh, leverage. Now we're going to try the Miyoko's, the uh, plant-based cultured vegan cheese. What do we got? Mm -mm. Nah, that's a disappointing one. That's no good at all. Miyoko's gets a one. And our last one is the 365 brand from Whole Foods, which also looks like it didn't melt, so we'll see what happens. And it's, it's sort of, it's, nah. I'll give that a, a, a two. Okay. Chow and follow your heart are neck and neck with nine points each so far. So now it's the final taste test. Uh, American style slices, follow your heart. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that is a solid American cheese, grilled cheese, melty flavor. I am into it. That hits the spot. Perfect. Five. All right, ciao. It's creamy. It's melty. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's not quite the American cheese flavor, but it is really damn close. So, I think Follow Your Heart's got it. I'm gonna give Chow a four. It was near perfect, it's just not a strong flavor. Just like it was when it was raw. All right, Daya. Daya has improved their melting by a lot. This is much closer than any of the melted cheese I've ever tried to do a grilled cheese with before. So, Daya, you redeemed yourself quite a bit. It is not perfect, but I'm gonna give it a four, which is as high score it's gotten today. So maybe Daya changed their formula for their American cheese to make it melt better. I don't know, but that, that just, just redeemed it quite a bit. Let's see Esty. Hmm. 
Estee also got a pretty good texture there. And the flavor is better when it's melted than it was. I'm starting to think that the cheeses are drier because they melt better that way. So they are awful raw, but they are all working really well for this. They're getting much better scores. So Estee, I'm going to also give a four. Everyone's doing pretty well for this melt test, I gotta say. Things have come a ways. All right. We're trying the Miyoko now. This is cheddar, by the way. It's not supposed to be American cheese textured. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I, uh, no, that was, this is veal life. Yeah. Okay. Didn't screw it up. Um, this is veal life. It's pretty good. It's, uh, I think veal life is supposed to be cheddar flavored. I am not getting that at all. I'm just double checking. Yeah. So veal life tastes like American cheese. That's where it fails, I think. Um, it's not cheddar like. Good texture. Works for grilled cheese. So veal life, I'm going to give uh, a four as well. I mean, it's all coming out like American cheese to me, which is fine. That's what I wanted. So. Now this is the Miyoko's. I think the Miyoko has gone down in quality with the melting. So that sweet aftertaste is even more apparent right now. And the texture is not right. It's not quite melted cheese. It's, I don't know what it is. So uh, Miyoko's I'm gonna give it to. Sorry Miyoko's. All right, and the final one is the 365, which doesn't seem to have melted very well, but we're gonna give it a shot. Again, it's the right texture. It has the right flavor for American, even though it is cheddar flavored. So all in all, all these cheeses, even whether they were cheddar or American flavored, all came out American in my taste buds, um, except Miyoko's, which is something something. Um, I'm going to give 365 another four. So the winner for my great vegan grilled cheese off is Follow Your Heart. Great job, Follow Your Heart. You have made a nice, melty, American flavored, American processed cheese the way it's got to be type vegan cheese. I'm duly impressed. Thank you for your service to our country. Um, so that's it guys uh if i left out a vegan cheese that you guys are really into i'm sorry i i did my best to get everything i literally bought out the stores around me um and this is what i could find uh but i think that works in my favor because if this is what i can find going to three grocery stores it's probably what you're gonna find going to three grocery stores um this is what's most readily available. I know some of these brands are probably not gonna be available in certain parts of the country, um, but I tried to cover all the most popular ones. Uh, Daya, I've found everywhere. So even though I poo-pooed on it, Daya is my personal favorite. And it did hold up when it really came down to the grilling of the cheese. So that's what matters the most in this situation. Uh, I also recommend other, Daya has like a smoked Gouda out now that's the bomb and it's got provolone and jack and cheddar, it's got everything. So that's my personal favorite, but now I'm going to think more about Follow Your Heart because that is a damn good American cheese uh, substitute. Chow, also great. You're the first runner up. If you're avoiding soy, probably not the thing for you, but remember that fermented tofu is actually better for you than regular tofu and regular soy. So, um, cause it gets rid of the stuff that blocks the absorption of healthy nutrients. So it's not a bad choice either. Honestly, all these are great choices. And what the greatest news here is that you guys have uh, different options for your own specific uh, tastes. So you can get whatever cheese you wanna get and get the texture you want, get the flavor you want. I recommend kinda Buying one, testing it out, see how you like it. Um, this is actually a lot of fun. Do your own grilled cheese off. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. 
Um, if you have any suggestions for Cooking 101, I'm going to keep this going, even though the lockdown is ending finally. Uh, this is fun for me, and I hope it's fun for you guys. Uh, so please keep your suggestions coming for what you want to see on the show. I am happy to take any and all. Um, if you guys want to donate, uh, my Venmo is at JSRockRD. Uh, all money goes towards buying groceries to keep this show going. Uh, if you can't afford it, well, then this show is for you because it's free. Um, but thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next week.